Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can use the hue and saturation options in Photoshop to change the color of this paint from blue to any color you like, okay? So first of all, what we're gonna do is we've got our layer over here, just make sure that it's all flattened. So we are working with this layer and we're gonna go down to here at the bottom and we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. In fact, I'll show you how you can do it up here as well. So you've got layer, new adjustment layer, and we're gonna create a hue and saturation layer. Okay? And just click okay, give it a name if you want to, and you'll see it appears above our background layer, okay? So now what we need to do is just double click here, and it'll take us back into the properties panel where we can change our options. So if you adjust the hue slider, this will effectively change the color of the image, and you'll see it makes it all sorts of random weird colors. We've got this guy with a green hand and purple paint, which is lovely, but that's not quite what we want. So the main thing here is that just change it to any other color. It doesn't matter what it is at the moment because we can adjust it again afterwards. So if we leave it at green for now, he's green with his purple hand. What we're gonna do is select our brush tool, make sure it's nice and feathered. So a nice soft brush with the hardness set to zero and you can bring the brush size up. And again, square brackets left and right to adjust the brush size. Let's just bring that bring it down a little bit. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna brush out using this mask here on top of the adjustment layer. So make sure you've got the this mask selected. We're gonna use the brush tool. Make sure it's set to black as well because black will paint out of the mask. And then if I press X to switch the colors around here, white paints into the mask, okay? So remember black takes away, white paints back in. So what we want to do now is we want to keep the green, but we don't want his hand to be purple. So we're just gonna start to kind of brush over his hand. And you'll see here, as the more you do this, you'll see it affecting the mask. So the mask started off nice and white, and as we kind of paint the black into the brush, you'll see the mask itself start to change here. And it doesn't matter if we're painting on the white because you know you can't change the hue of white to anything else, white is white. So that's absolutely fine. So we don't need to be too careful here. And as you start to get closer to the paint, it's probably worth zooming in and just reducing the brush size down and just being just a little bit more careful. So you can see here there's this kind of purple shimmer on the outside of the uh, the paint can. So just be really careful not to go inside and paint out the green. Because if we do go inside and we paint it out, you'll see here it paints the blue through. So if you do that, that's fine. Just press X to swap the foreground and the background color. Cover it back up and then press X again to switch. And that's really handy because when you're when you're painting in and out of a mask like that, you can just paint, 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 you can make a mistake, you can quickly flip the colors around, make the correction, flip them around again and carry on. So it's a really handy thing to do when retouching. Okay, let's just finish up these last few bits here, get this last little bit of purple on the can. Again, we're quite lucky here. So the can, the kind of silver gray doesn't have too much color in it. It's a very, very close to a sort of gray desaturated color. So we don't have to be too careful when we're painting over that. Okay, so now if I switch this layer on and off, you can see that we've successfully changed the color of the paint. But what if I want to turn this green paint now into say pink paint? Well, you just double click on the, the layer here, the thumbnail, or you can go to the properties panel with that selected. And we just adjust the hue again. And effectively, you can change this to any color you want now. So let's make this pink. Lovely. And you can adjust the saturation as well. So this is how rich the color is. So at the moment, it's quite rich. So watch what happens. If I do increase it, it becomes incredibly vibrant. And if I decrease it, it becomes a bit more, a bit more dull. And the lightness. Ah, so if you increase the lightness, that doesn't really work in this instance because it will affect other elements where we've placed our mask. That, so that doesn't really work. But if I just go back 
and just make that pink. I think that looks about right. And again, you can switch this layer on and off. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video.